In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about not letting people negotiate with you to where you're ultimately below your bottom line or working for free. Let's talk about it. praise to the most high Yah shalom thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritful episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man when you look at israel as a people the most high Yah gave us instructions to be free he gave us a way to conduct ourselves a way to go about doing business and today i'm talking you know giving you another business segment all things in righteousness man you have some people uh, customers or clients that want your product or want your service and they get a thrill out of negotiating. Negotiating can be a great tool to save yourself some money, but some people uh, want to negotiate you to the point where you completely lose, they win, and it's not even worth your time. But let me show you what I'm working on before I get into there, man. I got home from work. See, I'm fitted out, man. Got the overalls on and uh, getting this flower bed ready. This was a metal container that we used for a season to put our chicks in. And uh, uh, I have another one over there that I use, a Rubbermaid one to get more spacious. So I'm gonna use this one as a, uh, a flower bed and I'm gonna grow uh, my herbs in there. Probably gonna grow a whole lot of basil because growing fresh basil, if you've never had fresh basil, you don't know what you're missing. You can put it in your, uh, mix it in with your food, just the leaves. You can use it in spaghetti and basil is off the chain. So I'm gonna grow some cilantro, some basil, and I'll probably grow uh, a whole bunch of herbs that grow together using this step bit right here to make these little holes good. And uh, yeah, but let me set this, this, uh, set this GoPro up so I can give this, give this game. Give this game, boy, so you don't get played out here. Make sure we good. All right, so uh, there's people out there that like to negotiate. Like I said, they get a thrill out of it. And I don't know whether or not I wanna do business with you, uh, you know, cause we offer discounts and things like that. So when people negotiate, I'll ask, are you a first responder? Are you a nurse? Are you a teacher? Are you a veteran? Are you, you know, I'll go down the whole gamut and that's not good enough. And here's the thing. Man, how bad do you want the customer? Do you want the customer so bad? Do you want their business so bad to where you can't even turn a profit? And I'll tell you, man, uh, we have overhead. With the summertime, our overhead goes up because we're using more energy. In the wintertime, I'm not really using that much, uh, that much energy as far as electricity because I have a well-insulated building and it, it maintains warmth pretty good. I can run my heater on low and it'll be good. But the summertime, you can see it's humid out here. I'm sweating. Uh, I have to run my AC in my dog kennels and that pulls a lot of current and my energy, my, my overhead, my bottom dollar, bottom line increases. So you're gonna see a lot of people in, in what I do, dog boarding and daycare, people wanna do a lot of traveling, but the last thing that they budget for is uh, taking care of their dogs and I'll tell you man uh, just having a discerning spirit there's sometimes I can call I can pick up and pick up the phone and answer and there'll be somebody on the phone and I'll be like man something in my spirit tells me I don't want to do business with you because it's gonna be a headache okay I did another video talking about you know uh, choosing your clientele or your customer base wisely especially if you are in the service industry providing a service but you got to think, man, especially with family, you know, if it's one thing, if you just want me to babysit your dog for the weekend and I don't have a business and it's just my overhead is really not going to uh, not going to be impacted. Even then, if I were doing that, I would not only uh, ask if you could do it, but I would still bless you with an offering to be able to do it because I'm throwing your schedule off. OK, so to break down my overhead, man, you know, there's my facility. My dog kennel is directly across. I walk out the garage, go over there, man. I got water costs in the back. I got a water tank. 
Uh, I got, you know, trash costs because I got a, a dumpster that I have to put trash in that goes under the business. I got the AC and then it's sitting on an acre of property and I have to mow that pay for gas. So when it comes down to it, you know, uh, oftentimes the biggest violators of wanting you to go past your bottom dollar and you wanting the business so bad to where you're working for free, oftentimes your family is going to be the one uh, to put that burden on you. And what you'll realize is, okay, when them light bills, those electric bills, the different bills come in to run the business, your family's nowhere to be found. And because you didn't stick up for your, your business and okay, I got a bottom dollar. So you got to think a great deal for a family member would be, Hey, I got a bottom dollar and that's the only thing I'm going to charge you. I'm going to take care of you like that. And that way my overhead is covered. Some family members, that's not even good enough. You know, they want to be able to use your facilities, get the best treatment, want all this custom, not abide by any of your, your business rules or practices, but want you to basically be working for free. And this is where I said, do not allow yourself to get out negotiated. Man, if somebody is trying to negotiate you and work you to where there is no profit margin in there, you know, just your average customer or, or client, man, I'm not going all the way to my bottom dollar, even with discounts. You know, there still has to be a room for a profit margin or else I'm in the business of just doing transactions. And that's not the business I'm in. I'm in the business of providing a service. And by that, we conduct transactions to be able to turn a profit. This is not a, you know, uh, dog boarding and daycare. This business that we run is not a billion dollar or million dollar, uh, you know, business. You know, I'm, I don't even articulate it like that. You know, one thing this is, is it will allow you to get off the system and be a cushion to where you'll be able to pay your bills X, Y, and Z uh, without having to depend on the system and the pressures that the system put on you in the workplace. You see what I'm saying? And then, you know, uh, so keep that in mind. And like I said, this is, I'm going to start doing these business segments to help those uh, in Israel conduct good business, conduct righteous business. And, and, and push you forward if you got an idea you've been sitting on hey it's time to execute man it's time to execute you know this is just one of one of uh of many things that i'll be getting off the ground and uh once i retire i'm going to be doing some other other business ventures and this one is going to pretty much just segue into those businesses but uh don't allow anybody even your family uh customers i don't care how nice or sweet they sound to negotiate you to the point where you're operating at a loss and you're at your bottom, you're working, you're working around the clock below your bottom line and then you're pretty much working for free. So don't allow anybody to do that. This will save you a lot of headache in business. So when you're paying your bills X, Y, and Z, you're not looking at all these receipts and counting them as transactions saying, I don't know why we had all this business, but we're not turning a profit. Oftentimes that has a lot to do with it. Closer to y'all ministries kicking this thing gun barrel straight. Pow.